Writing your code into R scripts is valuable for managing and organizing R objects, but sometimes you may wish to clear some objects from your workspace. To get a look at what objects exist in your current workspace, use the ls function. If you want to remove an object, use the remove function with the argument name as the object to be removed. If you want to remove all the objects in your workspace, you can use the list argument in the remove function and specify all the objects in the workspace using the ls function. It's also helpful to be able to easily convert between objects of different types. We'll consider three functions for converting objects to numerical, character, and factor object types. For instance, we can apply each of these functions to the object x. Applying the as character and the as factor functions affect the outcome. Had I wanted to actually change x to, say, a factor, I could have assigned the new result to x. One special note here. If you have a factor variable that also looks numeric, always convert it to a character before converting it to a numerical value. There are other comparable functions that you may occasionally find useful, such as asMatrix, asDataFrame, and asList. One last function I'll consider in this video is the unList function. In the usual process of data analysis, I might create a list to hold summary results of an experiment. Here, I'll construct a list manually for four groups. In this example, you can think of the first number for a group to represent its corresponding sample size. The second number might represent the average response for that group, and the third value might represent the standard deviation for the group. Just a side note worth mentioning. I typically perform these types of calculations in an automated way, which would make it easier for the code to be scaled to an arbitrary number of groups. If you need to refresh on this topic, look back to the fifth video in section 2. Alright, so the results are stored in a list where each list item represents the results for a single group. If I unlist this object, I get a vector of the unlisted results. It would actually be more useful to hold this object as a matrix or as a data frame. So I'll form these unlisted results into a matrix. If I'd prefer a data frame, I could use the asDataFrame function applied to this matrix. If I wanted, I could also adjust the column names of the data frame using the names or the column names function. In the next video, we'll explore the family of apply functions, which are helpful for applying a function across the rows or columns of a matrix, or across the elements of a list.